welcome back to Layla Lodge. Thanks for joining. Um, in today's video, we are testing the new Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. This is their brand new concealer. It's kind of the next generation from the Conceal and range. We had the Conceal and Define Original in 2018. We then got the Conceal and Hydrate, which was a more hydrating formula with hyaluronic acid in it. This year, we have got the Infinite, Conceal and Define Infinite, which is 20% more pigment, it's crease-proof apparently, it is full coverage, it's got skincare ingredients in it like niacinamide, which is really good for fighting blemishes, it's anti-inflammatory, it's kind of soothing. Don't know what this was. International selling for soothing. Mm -hmm. One thing I will say that's confused the bejesus out of me is the shade situation. The Conceal and Define Infinite, I'm really confused and I would really love somebody to explain it to me because, let me just double check on my notes, we've got the two sizes. We've got this size, which is the standard size. This is 5mm and costs six pounds this comes in 60 shades which is wonderful absolutely wonderful and from what i can tell in my limited experience of you know the shade range out there from what i can tell there's a fairly good range going on there there's a fairly good spread across the different skin tones and the different in between uh undertones however in the excel which is nine milliliters for nine pounds there's only 24 shades available so I don't, un I don't understand. You've obviously got the 60 shades. Why, why are they not available in the large size? And why, if it's down to literal amount of formula, why make the XL available? I don't, I don't, I do not understand. I just don't understand. So I need, I genuinely need someone to explain that one to me because it makes no sense. Like why I only have quite a lot less than half just in a different size? I don't get it. Anyway, there we go. There's two sizes of it. You've got the original, which is 5mm and is £5. Is it? No, it isn't. It's 5mm and it's £6. And then you've got the XL, depending on what colour your face is, uh, which is 9mm and that's £9. I'm assuming it's going to be all shades available in all sizes at some point, but why not just do that in the first place? So, to see how I got on, avec the new concealer and what I thought and how it worked, then keep watching. Before I go though, please make sure you're subscribed. What's going on? Are we not subscribed yet? What's what's happening? I can see all the statistics, you know. I can go and have a look at my analytics and see how many of you watch my videos and aren't subscribed. Like, I go to all this effort for you. I go shopping. I go into busy town centres. I deal with the general public. I go and buy these items. These are not sent to me. I buy these out of my own pocket to test and you know, give my just amazing expert opinion on. Absolutely not. Um, you know, but I do all this for you. I do this for you. Just head down there and click subscribe. That would be grand. Right, I'm going to go and, uh, and leave you to see how I got on with this. Okay, see you in a sec. All right, so I've got most of my eyes done. I've got some of my base done. And I'm now at the stage where I'm ready for concealer. This is a good day to test this, actually, because... Oh my god, I'm exhausted this week. So I've got the big dark bits under here that I've already colour corrected. But can you see? When I do that, you can see the dips that I've got there. Which is why I've always got my head that way. Because you can't see them as much. Um, but I've got quite a lot of texture going on there at the moment because I'm so tired. Um, so, it's a good day to test this out and see what it's going to be doing. We had Conceal and Define first, I think 2018. We then had Conceal and Hydrate, which was, uh, the Conceal and Define was a, a more kind of mattifying formula. The Conceal and Hydrate had hyaluronic acid in it, so that was a more hydrating formula. It didn't dry down as quick. Um, this one has followed suit with some skincare in it as well, but this formula is kind of different. So let me just read through my notes and then I can give you the right info. Um, so it is... A long wear foundation, no it's not, it's not, it's a long wear concealer is what it is. Long wear concealer, they are claiming it is a 16 hour wear product 
I will not be wearing this for 16 hours. However, I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day and then I will check back in and we'll see how it's done with this ear texture, etc. and coverage. Um, coverage wise, it says it's a full coverage, which I'm assuming it's going to be because the concealing define and concealing hydrate, I would say were full coverage as well. Um, this apparently contains 20% more pigment. Now, I don't know if this is meant to be a dupe for the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. Or I don't know if the uh, that side of the formula has been inspired by that concealer, but I know that the Jeffree Star Concealer has got a certain amount of pigment in it, um, which kind of sits it between a concealer and a foundation. So I'm very, very intrigued to see how this does. Um, because it's something I really like about the Jeffree Star concealer. So this has got 20% more pigment. Um, again, it's also got built-in skincare. This contains niacinamide, which is kind of a blemish fighting ingredient. It's very anti-inflammatory. It's very calming. Crease proof. Now, this is a claim on concealers that I, I, I wish they would reword because it isn't crease proof at all because it's an area of our face that's meant to move. Like, I am a very expressionate person. I like to make expression. Like, if I Botoxed the hell out of my face, couldn't move this eyebrow, couldn't squint my eyes, weren't all, like, wide-eyed and silly, no one, I think everybody would freak out. Like, I pull faces. It's fine. Um, so, it apparently is stretchable. I think that's what they mean. It's, it's more of a kind of stretchable, malleable formula apparently so that when we are moving and we are using our expressions and we are smiling and getting all crinkly eyed because we're so happy and smiley that it's going to move with us i think what it means is it isn't going to kind of dry and crack and show in the lines more and emphasize those lines more i think what it means is it's going to move with us and it's a bit more um what's this situation it's a bit more movable and it's a bit stretchy so i think that's what they mean but no concealer on the planet is just gonna make you look like a doll under your eyes if that's not what you what you're working with to start off with it also um is cakeless and since uh having a wheat allergy diagnosed i am also cakeless okay i've made my peace with it though it's fine really it's fine mm-hmm um, so it's not going to go cakey under our eyes and again make that texture look really awful and really really blah, uh, which is not what we want to look like. Um, so apparently it isn't cakey, apparently it is stretchable, apparently we've got mega coverage, apparently it's going to last a while, I've got a hair. There we go. Um, so I think we'll just get on with it. I am looking for this for texture i'm looking for coverage i'm looking for blendability and i'm looking for it to last as long as it says it's gonna last even though i ain't testing it for that long but i'm looking for it to last and look if this says it's gonna work for 16 hours and i'm not wearing it for anywhere near that long this better look good by the time i check back in with you lot to see how it's doing do you know what i mean like if it says 16 hours, it better do be a whole lot less than that. Um, so we're going to put it on and I'm going to get the rest of my face done. Uh, and then I'm going to go, uh, well, we'll have our initial thoughts and we'll have a look and see what we think. And then I'm going to go off and do a bit of a wear test and check back in with you later. Ugh. That wasn't too painful, was it? Usually takes me a lot longer than that. Uh, right, so we've got a bit of a different packaging. This is the standard size one. They do an XL as well. I presume it's still got the door foot. Ooh, it's huge. Yeah, we've still got the door foot applicator, which is really good actually for getting into the corners and getting a lot of product on. So let's just crack on, shall we? I like this inner bit there as well, so you can get the excess product off. Really like that. Looks very thick. Okay, so let's get on. So I'm going to go under the eye, on the forehead, usual places. You know what we're doing. Ooh. Now this is interesting. Like I said, this would usually be not a highlight shade for me. But it is actually coming out quite light. <clears throat> Although I see there it's blending around the edges. So maybe that was just the first initial blob um maybe it oxidizes a little bit as well so we'll keep our eye on that one that's bizarre the coverage it 
maybe it's because it looks natural it looks really natural but not really thick and heavy i'm liking it so far it's a really nice texture it's going it's gliding straight on very soft and smooth really nice color actually Go for a little bit of reverse contouring with it and see what we can do. Right, I'm going to blend that in with a damp sponge and I'm going for this little one to get into my creases under my eyes. Okay, so it, I would say it's a little more like the Conceal and Define formula in that it's drying down fairly quickly the conceal and hydrate obviously takes a bit longer to dry down you can work with that a bit longer the finish on that is actually really nice it's blended beautifully you can still see a bit of texture under my eye but like i said that's absolutely fine but it's certainly not sinking into the texture and it look any worse i've got in with a little bit of product as well just to kind of see what it's like coverage wise and I would say it's full coverage, but I wouldn't say it's it's looking like I've got a heavy amount on, which is great. Probably going to go in just with a little bit more and just see what it's like to build up. Loving that. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to my beauty sponge, the bigger sponge, just to blend in those larger areas. It actually is blending really nicely. Even though we did leave it for that little bit of time just to warm up. So yeah, I would definitely put it, if you've used both the Conceal and Define and the Conceal and Hydrate, and you know what I'm talking about with the speed it dries down. Look, I would say that had disappeared on my forehead then. That's just sort of blended itself in, weirdly. Um, yeah, if you're aware of those two formulas, I would, and you know what I mean about the speed of them drying down, I would definitely put this in the middle, which for me is perfect. Okay, I'm going to pop a little bit more on under the eye and just let's see what it's like to build up blended down fairly well it's giving it's a full coverage but it's giving quite a natural finish as i say to sort of lines and things which is fine it's weird it's like full coverage but doesn't feel like you've got anything on that's really weird oh that second coat <gasps> oh wow okay I am actually really impressed with that concealer thus far. It, like I say, I've got texture under my eye, especially today. It's one of those weeks I'm very tired. I've had a stressful, tired couple of weeks. That just looks like a normal, healthy amount of skin texture for somebody who is a few months off being 40, who has spent her entire life pulling and rubbing at her eyes through hay fever, and who has, you know, two kids, is a single mum, and is very bloody busy. So I just think that's a normal amount of living that you can see on my face, and it's fine, and it makes me no less beautiful. Um... I think, definitely can't tell that I've got a lot of concealer on either. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the rest of my face. Um, I will come back and just have my final thoughts once it's kind of settled in a little bit and once it's been on my face for a few minutes, once I've finished off everything else. Um, and then we'll give it a bit of a wear test, so bear with. All right, there we go. The rest of the face is on. Okay, so I don't think my nose contours gone very well today but i can't work out why <laughs> um okay concealer wise i'm actually really impressed i think it's a really natural finish but still being really um full coverage definitely not sinking into the texture and it's not kind of cracking um i would say it's definitely moving with my expressions and with my skin moving um and yeah i really like it it's mixed with the powder really well i've tend to f I've, i can't speak i've i've found in the past with some concealers um that once you then set it or once you try and set it it doesn't kind of get on well with the um powders powder on this has just melted straight in there's no kind of clumpiness there's no patchiness i've not had to kind of blend any of it it's just gone really really well um and yeah it's just given a really nice natural finish but 
still be in really full coverage as well i don't feel like i'm heavy product wise under my eye it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it doesn't look like i've got a ton of product on but to say i've got two layers of a like mega full coverage concealer it's not giving me that it's just giving me a nice natural brightened um finish so I really leak that. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go and go about my day. I've got a couple of errands to run and um, a few jobs to do. We've got another video to film. So I'm just gonna go and get on with my day and then I'll probably check back in with you later on whilst I've got my jammers on and I'm ready to take the day off. And we will see what we think and how it's lasted and how it's fared. So I will see you very soon. So it's almost 11 o'clock. So I've had the concealer on for about five and a half hours. So bearing in mind it claims to be a 16 hour product, it should be absolutely fine. Five and a half hours in. But I'd say that is probably about not far off an average day of wearing a full face or makeup. Um, I haven't done anything to it. I've not touched it up. I've not gone in with any, any more sprays after I've set it. I've done nothing, absolutely nothing um i would say it's looking quite textury uh under there however that might just be my skin i don't feel like it's cakey or cracked yeah it's not cakey and it's not kind of cracked and i don't feel like it's sunk into the texture and made it like stand out any anymore um and as i'm kind of moving my eye around it is moving quite nicely with it so i would agree with the stretchability of it yep the coverage has stayed about the same i would say maybe a little bit it's starting to just kind of show through a little bit but like i said at the beginning if you remember that far back i am very tired this week and i've had to color correct the dark circles so there we go um but all in all i would say i'm quite happy with that and i'm quite impressed with the concealer so that might be my new go-to concealer the only thing i'm really confused about is the shade situation i don't understand how you can have 60 shades in one size and then only 24 in another size like how do you get 60 shades in the regular size and then still release an xl but only in 24 shades i don't i don't understand that one i don't understand like if you don't have enough formula don't release it until you've got enough formula i don't know i don't know that one's completely twisted my melon um but for a drugstore concealer that um is full coverage and not kk and not kind of cracking and not making your texture look any worse I would highly recommend that one i think it's worked really really well so i am going to take my face off and get myself off to bedtime and i will hopefully see you in my next video thanks for watching Bye.